Hello today guys, this is Hell's Knight 2180 with a new episode of Viewing on Asmodan in Heroes of the Storm. Today we're going to look at some of the lore, some of the abilities, and how he cooperates inside the game. So far he's a tanky, real good siege m hero as everything goes. But his abilities is Globe of Annihilation, Summon Demon Warrior, All Shall Burn, and as his trait, it's General of Hell, which ain't too bad of abilities, but could be better, honestly. His Globe of Annihilation basically is a big dunk. Anybody within that area just basically does not do well. You can send out two of your Demon Warriors. Your D, I'll show you this one real quick, is the General of Hell. He basically buffs all the minions mercenaries and regular minions that come out your core during the game very very powerful his E is basically a channeling it channels for exactly uh, six seconds but let me level him up and we'll get really good into him but the lore behind him is, he's the lord of all the deadly sins. Not bad, but eh, it kind of makes you worry about him a little bit. He's supposed to, as far as I read up, supposed to be the main leader of hell himself. Which is not bad. Let me pick these up real quick. Uh, increase minion damage and... Uh, do the globe. I like the black pool. But at one point I am going to reset all of it and show y'all the other ultimate. So don't worry about that. Okay. Now toggling on the minions we will have Malfurion as a healer which ain't really helpful at all. <laughs> Basically Globe of Annihilation just send these things out. Channeling my E, which is all shall burn, basically just big old channel. This guy just, he does some serious bullshit, really. And put down the black pool, it basically increases all the damage done, and you can set this anywhere. It's global as far as what I've seen in the patch notes and done with. But that's his black pool for now. He's got significant siege damage advantage. He's really great at high levels. Severely tanky once you re reach uh, level 20. 6,000 health, 690 mana. Not bad. Very, very tanky. Not very much team dependent. You could send his ass straight into a 1v5 and he'd almost survive every time. But now resetting the level and showing you all the other ultimate. I gotta only have to move to 10 this round. So here's Demonic Invasion. Demonic Invasion, you spawn basically how you've seen on the main Heroes of the Storm official website. All fireballs rain from the sky summons all these minions and if you and on these unfortunately you cannot put a general of hell out nor do I think it busts them even if you did no it does not so basically he's not team dependent he's very good at siege damage not so good at hero damage if done wrongly uh, I do not recommend this character for new players at all, more intermediate players that at least know basics, which there ain't many of those at first. Basically, he's all good, but his one mount more, say, he just has flaming feet. That's it. That's his mount, and, uh... 
He don't really do anything else. He ain't one of my favorite characters. He's not one of my least favorite. My least favorite, which will be in a later video, is Chin Stormstout. I just severely dislike him altogether. But Asmodan, if I was to rank him on my characters, on my favorite, he'd probably be number 15 on the list. But that's all for today, and that's Asmodan. Make him do a little slash dance for you, which he don't do shit. See if he does it right here. Yeah. There's your slash dance. And it's Hells Night 21 signing out. Please like, subscribe, and have a nice day.